All right, another video showing you more proof of Pankowski's Mormon heresies on justification and salvation. That video showing his Catholic doctrine, even did a video showing the fact that his heresy that all sin is not forgiven at salvation, or essentially that your future sins are not forgiven, is not only Roman Catholic, but it's also rooted in Mormonism. But now, I'm going to show you his heresy of staying saved by, by a perpetual holiness is also a Mormon heresy. So here's the first clip of him teaching his heresy. And everyone who repents, believes, confesses, and obeys will be saved. Anybody who knows that they are trusting Jesus knows that they are saved. Those who abide in Christ are saved. Yeah, and you're going to see that in these next clips, as well as this one, is no different than what you find in the Mormon, you know, the Mormon writings. This next clip, he's also making salvation into a process of obedience. Okay, check this out. So the seal was conditioned on continued faith and obedience. You know, those two pesky things uh, that, that the American Christians, uh, they hate. They hate continuing faith and they hate continual obedience. They hate that. And in this third clip, he does the exact same, pushes the exact same heresy rooted in Mormonism and Catholicism. Okay, check this out. Jesus didn't die so we can sit in peace and be saved in our sins. We have to carry our own cross. Now, like I just pointed out, what he's preaching is no different than what you find in Roman Catholicism and also Mormonism, okay? Here is from the Mormon writings and the Mormon texts. This is in the Book of Mormon, 2nd Nephi uh, 20, 25, verse 23, I think that's how you say it. It says, For we labor diligently to write and, per and to persuade our children and also our brethren to believe in Christ and to be reconciled to God, for we know that it is by grace that we are saved after all we can do. See, it's hinging on you ke uh, keeping yourself saved. Is that not what Mikoski preaches? That you have to have this, this continual obedience to stay saved? Book of Mormon, this is Moroni 10.32. Yea, come unto Christ, and be perfected in him, and deny yourselves of all ungodliness. And if ye shall de uh, deny yourselves of all ungodliness, and love God with all your might and all your strength, then is his grace sufficient for you, that by his grace ye may be perfect in Christ. And if by the grace of God ye are perfect in Christ, ye can in no wise deny the power of God. Again, you're having to, do, to deny yourself of ungodliness. See, you're saving yourself to earn God's grace. See, it's not it's not by grace that you save through faith. You know, it's not Jesus Christ died for my sins according to the scriptures. No, it's actually you're staying saved by what you can do. It's all about it's all about you staying saved. So essentially, it's all about work salvation. And if you're having to live holy to stay saved, that is work salvation. Whether you whether you try to say like he can deny it all he wants, but if you're living holy to stay saved, that is work salvation. This is a writing from a Mormon missionary. It says uh, in order to remain forgiven, we must never commit the sin again. Again, you see this exactly uh, this exact same thing taught by Pankowski. You have to live sinless. If you commit one sin willfully, you've lost your salvation. It's Mormon heresy. Another Mormon writing. This is the teachings of Harold B. Lee. Here was a, a former uh, president of the Mormon Church. Page 120. The miracle of forgiveness is available to all of those who turn from their evil doings and return no more. Because the Lord has said in the revelation to us in our day, go your way and sin no more. But unto the soul that sinneth, you know, uh, shall his former sins return? He's quoting from you know verses that these these heretics like Minkowski love ripping out of context, like in John eight or Ezekiel thirty three, Ezekiel chapter three, verse I think it's uh, eighteen down to verse twenty one. You know, uh, those verses were you know the, the verses in Ezekiel were talking to Old Testament Jews under the law. Christ had not died on the cross yet, so you know they love they love ripping that one out of context. Uh, so yeah, you see this exactly this exact same thing taught by you know the former former president of the Mormon one of the former presidents of the Mormon church. See, you have to, if you, you have to stay saved by holiness, and if you sin once, you've lost it. Another writing from the Mormon church, this is one of their professors, says, men can no more be saved without obedience. Interesting. Uh, then they can be healed without faith. All things operate by the law of blessings result from obedience to the law and are withheld when there is no obedience. Same thing is taught by Pankowski. You have to have obedience to be saved. 
He's teaching Mormonism-based heresies, as well as Roman Catholicism. Rich Minkowski is a work salvation heretic. You see, you have the easy believers heretics who are antinomians and who think you can live in sin all you want, and there's no uh, there's no uh, chastening of God. Nothing's going to happen. You're saved, and that's pretty much it. There's no you know changed life. There's no no regeneration from the Holy Ghost. You see, both sides do not understand the new birth. Rich Minkowski does not understand the new birth because he's trying to live holy to stay saved. If not. You know, the Holy Ghost comes in and cleans your life up, but it's, it's because you're saved, not to be saved. Oh no, you're doing it to stay saved. And how he proves he doesn't understand the new birth and says, well, if you believe in eternal security, I guess that means I can rape 50, 50 children and still go to heaven. The fact that he even brings that up just shows he does not understand it. You know, because the Holy Ghost filled Christian would not even have that kind of thought come in his mind. Even a lot of lost, even I was a lost atheist, the idea of imagining myself doing that would have maybe, would have repulsed me. You know, so by his statements, he proves he has zero understanding of the new birth. You know, the Holy Ghost filled Christian, that, that, to suggest that a Holy Ghost filled Christian would even desire to do something like that. He proves he, has, he does not understand it. Why? Because he's never experienced it. He's still a lost, held on sinner, just like the sodomites he likes to rebuke. Plain and simple. And same thing with like the Jack Smack 7 7 types who justify playing Grand Theft Auto, listening to wicked rock music and everything else. Both sides are heresy and both sides are, you know, damning people to hell. So. I wanted to show you guys that. Rich Minkowski is, a, is teaching Mormonism and Catholicism via his salvation by staying saved by what you can do. You know, that by all that we can do, essentially. That, that's what he's preaching. So, don't be deceived by Rich Minkowski. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.